Hi, this is Vicki Goforth Parnell. And um, today is 6 And the Lord has been leading me to start sharing visions and dreams and things that He has had me refrain from doing until now. Some of these are very hard. This is a very hard vision, plus a word from the Lord that followed. This is a vision, a hard vision of nuclear war is what it's titled. And um, I had it on 1 11 21 and journaled it at 4 30 p.m. And it came, the vision came. I was praying and interceding, and this vision started coming. Before I, and I, I will warn you, it's graphic, so please pray about whether to proceed or not. And you should pray anyways over anything you put in your spirit. You should pray whether um, the Lord even wants you to listen or watch or read. I pray over everything. I pray over everything. And ask the Holy Spirit to lead because, you know, I, I don't want to put anything into my spirit. Whether it's television, reading, anything that's not pleasing to Him. Or for some reason He doesn't want me to know. I get most of my information that I get, well, my information comes from the Lord, and then people will send confirmation, and, and I cannot, I cannot watch all of it either, or read it. I will read the headline, and then the Lord will speak to me, yes or no. So, just pray about these things that's coming, and I'd like for you to pray with me now. Father God. I come to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. These things are hard, Lord, but not impossible because you are with us always. And you said you would give me the boldness to speak all that I see that you require me and, and wish for me to share. And you have held back on these for over a year now, Lord, almost a year and a half. So, God, I'm asking that you take these words and you send them forth to the four corners of the wing. Because your word says in Isaiah that your word will not return into you void. That it would accomplish everything. Everything, Lord, that you have called it to do. Now I bind every demonic force from hell. Every spirit, every plan, plot, gin, snare, hex, vest, curse. Vex, anything, anything demonic, anything controlled by Satan. I bind it. I bind the de demonic forces, the spirits. I bind you with chains. And I cast you into outer darkness in chains that cannot be removed. Where you will remain until the day of judgment in Jesus' name. And I loose all heaven. I loose heaven, which means I give you, God, the right. I give you whatever you need. The, because the earth has been given to man for dominion for you to step in and aid we have to lose you we have to give you the right so god whatever you need to do for your perfect will to be done in this word in any other word by your true children not the false but the true ones then god step in and help in jesus name and let everything be done on earth as it is in heaven and lord soften the hearts of the people to hear and see the truth to trust you and to know that we are to suffer persecution. We are spared from the wrath coming. But God, what do we have to go through before you send Jesus for us? Lord, I just trust you. Regardless, I trust you. I trust you. In your name I pray. Again, this is um, titled, A Hard Vision of Nuclear War. And again, it was on 1 11 21 in a journal at 4.30 p.m. So read, it says, I see destruction, miles and miles of destruction, cities in great devastation. Forgive us, Jesus, forgive us, for we, your people, your church, have failed, and now judgment has fully come to us. I see a door, an intricately carved ornament door, reddish brown in color, possibly mahogany, for that is what I'm thinking thinking it is as I am facing this door. I see it up close, but I am at a great distance from it. I have seen this door before. This is the door that Father God's hand was holding back the demon horde, trying to get through it into our world, which he, he had 
It cracked, allowing a few to occasionally escape from it, from behind it, but the door is no longer shut, but standing wide open. This was another vision I had. Now I am looking down upon the earth, the darkness of outer space, on each side and all around. Now it's like my vision is being zoomed in to various locations below. I see destruction, massive destruction. I see horrible, horrible things. Flesh melting and hanging, stringing partially from an arm. I hear cries, tormenting screams and anguish of pain. Blood-curdling yells that just as quickly as they have started are cut off briefly, right afterwards, in mid-sentence. I have been here before also, for I am witnessing the horrors of nuclear war. I don't see a huge cloud, but I hear a loud thunder and billows of wind and brownish grayish clouds and bearable heat that melts the flesh in the middle of cars. This massive force of the wind picking up vehicles, twisting them into crumpled shapes and tossing them through the air like, like tops, like toys. I hear rumbling and buildings begin toppling. The earth is shaking. I see destruction. I'm not sure where I am, except I know it's in the U.S. because I recognize the general outline of our country's shape as my vision was being zoomed in. We have sinned. Lord Jesus, we have sinned. Our sins are many, our people unrepenting, and judgment has come. I see devastation. So much devastation. Judgment has come to America and to our world. Forgive us, God, for we have sinned. We have fallen short once again. Lord Jesus, in your name, I will not fail you ever again. I will walk in obedience. I will repent daily. I will reach out to the lost, the hurt, the dying. I will be your voice, your whatever. Forgive us, Jesus, for our sins are great. I smell burning flesh. I hear it sizzling. I smell hair and clothing, rubber melting. It's making me sick. Help us, Jesus, we have sinned. Forgive us, Jesus, forgive us, for we are not all bad. Mercy, Jesus, mercy. And then he starts talking to me. Child, my mercies are, are undenying. Yet I bestow them on whom I choose, and refrain those I choose to do so also. Judgment has come. No more time will be given any more. Your whole world is crying out in protest from the evil-hearted wickedness of men. The force of these man-made weapons of the nuclei shall cause your world, the earth, to shake and roll and rumble within when the last weapon allowed by me has hit the soil, the foundation of your world. You were warned. You were warned. You were all warned. Not once. Not twice, but many times. Yet with each warning sent down to man, few would listen, would heed, while many more chose not to do so. My true body of believers, those who have chosen to prepare their hearts, first and foremost, their roots now run deep, run strong in me. Those who are not taken when they continue to seek my face, my will for their lives, then Holy Spirit shall lead them in the way each must go. Keep yourself prepared. Keep yourself prepared, child. The clock has run down to zero, with only seconds left on the, on the hands of the clock. Get yourself up, child. It is time, child. It is time, for now it is the time for the reaping of what you have sown to come to fruition. Do not fret, little one, for I shall take care of what's mine. Those who belong to me, trust me, child, as you do, as you do now, for I will never 
fail you now or ever I do Jesus I do with my very life and all I hold dear I trust you Jesus I trust you yes child you do this is just one of many that I've had and just asking that you pray that we pray pray for our nation pray for our world pray for the lost Pray for windows and doors of opportunities for sal salvation. For opportunities for them to repent. Ultimately, they make the right, you know, right or wrong choice. But to have that opportunity presented to them. And then we, the children of God, have those promises. Believe on the Lord Jesus, and thou and thy household shall be saved. That's Acts 16.31 promises upon promises for our household and our seed grab hold of those promises remind father god stand on his word rebuke satan off your family and let's fight for our lost thank you god bless